First and goal at the eight. 8.38 to play in the half, and the Eagles are going to take a timeout. And you talked about the gun, Dan. I don't think there has ever been a quarterback that can run the football like Randall Cunningham. Buddy Ryan has characterized him as the best runner in the game today. Who's to say? I, I guess that means he must be pretty good then. I guess. Who dad on ABC? Who, who dad going to beat them Saints is the, the fabled phrase down here and has been since 87. <laughs> so right now the Eagles trying to beat them Saints. But they trail by seven. They have a first and goal at the eight-yard line. 8.38 to go in the half. Cunningham will run it. And out of bounds at the four-yard line. And paying the price after Toy Cook made the tackle is Robert Massey. And one of the Saints still down on the ground. That's Massey. Boy, did you see the shot Randall took at uh, his initial tackler? And Massey down, start to get back up, and now Toy Cook is still down. So we had multiple Saints on the ground. Just a scramble to the right by Randall. He doesn't delay much. He pulls it down. But watch Randall with the left hand. Watch him take a pretty good shot right here. That's Cook. An attempt to stiff arm him and get out of the way and actually looked like Massey was the player that came up and hit Cook. And both Massey and Cook get up as each pays the price and again Waymer was shaken up before and had to come out. I, I will guarantee you that more defensive players get hurt after being hit by their own guys than they ever do get hurt hitting an offensive player. There's Waymer. He is back in the game. Milton Mack now comes in and Cook comes out slowly. There's Mack number 24 as the Eagles have a second down and goal at the four-yard line. That change, of course, will not be lost on the Eagles coaching staff upstairs. Cook held the Mack over the right side. They've got Carter with Mack now on the left side here. And they love to throw that fade pattern to Carter. Cunningham looked that way. Now he goes the other way, and he throws that one out of the end zone. As Ron Johnson was the intended receiver, but he couldn't spring free. It'll be third down and goal at the four. We mentioned that fade pattern. That's been a favorite play now for the Eagles to Chris Gardner, who scored 10 touchdowns this season, seven on that same type of play. I think that was a design all the way for Randall Cunningham to take a look over there like he was going to throw that fade to Carter and then come back and work the right side of the field because there's no such thing as looking to check out the coverage on that fade pattern. You put it up, you put it up. That's all there is to it. That was a design play all the way. And he took a real cursory glance. Now Carter comes out to the right in a four-receiver set. Third down and goal, and it's knocked down at the line of scrimmage. Wayne Martin, the rookie, the number one draft choice out of Arkansas, knocks it down. So fourth down, and Ruzek comes in to attempt a field goal. Cunningham just trying to time one out to Byers. Byers had just made his cut, and that was batted away. Matt Cavanaugh to hold. Last week, they faked the field goal, and he threw to Carter for a touchdown. This is a 21-yard attempt. And Ruzek boots it through. The former Cowboy adding three and drawing Philadelphia as a flag goes down temporarily drawing Philadelphia within four. And that flag way after the play. Ben Dreif will tell us about it. And it's either roughing or running into the kicker. Now that can't be, that can't be on the player that slid in at the feet. In either event, it's half the distance to the goal line if Philadelphia wants Number to take the points off the board. Running into the kicker, the back leg of the kicker. Oh, Ben, Ben, Ben. Well, here's an interesting choice now for Philadelphia. Do they want the three, or do they want a fourth and goal from the two-yard line? That's their option here. Yeah, I just want you to watch this. Look at the top of your screen. Number 37 coming slight. Oh, that's beyond belief. Yep. I must be missing something. I must be missing something. Ruzek ought to get an Academy Award for it. 
right out of Stanislavski. He puts on quite an act of probably screaming in pain. Well, meanwhile, the Eagles apparently are going to accept the penalty. Uh, they, they can take the three points or they can have a fourth and goal and it's still being discussed apparently. So what's Ryan going to do here? Benny Thompson has to be in a state of disbelief that, that he drew this penalty. They may decline this. Let's see. We're taking the field goal. You heard Cunningham say yeah. it. Why would you want, yeah, well, I mean, if you're going to go for a uh, field goal from the four. Oh, hey, what, what Ben is saying, that running into the kicker is five. Right, exactly. Roughing the kicker is 15. Well, exactly, but at this point, you're talking half the distance to the goal line anyway. That's the key. I mean, it can only be a two-yard penalty in either case. You well, go from the four to the two. Oh, sure. I mean, the only good news in this whole scenario is, is that absolutely horrible call ends up not being a factor here. I mean, how do you call, how do you call that running into the kicker? Now, here it is again. That's Benny Thompson. Blocked to the ground, by the way, by a member of the Philadelphia Eagles. And his helmet touches a leg. Oh, come on. Ruzik doesn't even know he's been hit until he looks down and sees someone there. And he immediately goes into a painful scream. <laughs> well, it doesn't Twisting. matter, as it turns no. out. No, no. That is the good news. It shouldn't have any impact. impact. So a four-point lead as the Eagles get set to... Did Ben Drax used to be a kicker? 14-10 <laughs> New Orleans, and we can tell you that uh, Wednesday night, something's happening on ABC with growing pains. Head of the class, Doogie Hauser, MD, anything but love, and China Beach. The best way to spend Wednesday, there is a look at the lineup here on ABC. <laughs> Bourbon Street is, I guess, a natural habitat for that gentleman. <laughs> Where else? Looks like he's worked it a little too long. Bobby Morris and Paul Frazier are back to receive. Roger Ruzek to kick off. 8.20 to go in the half. Eagles trying to stay on top, in effect, in the NFC East. To the six-yard line, Morse brings it back out to the 24. First and 10 for the Saints and John Fourcade at that spot. Again, Fourcade signed by the Saints because of that strike in 87. He was... About ready to commence on a high school coaching career. And in fact, uh, talking to him uh, earlier tonight, he said that he was about ready to sign with the Raiders. He was on his way, in fact, uh, to the airport. And he said, no, nah, I got a chance to stay here. Got to stay with the Saints. Big, strong kid. Not real tall, but very heavily built. 220 pounds plus, and a lot of it is muscle. I actually had him back in 1986 for a while. From the 24-yard line, here's Dalton Hilliard, who picks up two yards. Not to the 26, and it will be second down and eight. We have him listed on the program as 6'1 and 208, and what did he say to you, Dan? <laughs> yeah, I sized him up on the sidelines? Yeah, I took one, I said, 208, no way. I said, what do you think, what do you think, John, 220? He goes, yeah, yeah, 220, tell him 220. 28, that's an earlobe. So I think he admitted to 220 far too quickly. <laughs> he might be in the uh, deuce and a quarter range. Very cocky, very confident when he steps into the huddle. That's been a reputation that spotted him all the way from Old Miss. Second and eight. Here's Hilliard again, and Hilliard runs into his own man and Whoa. is thrown for a loss of a yard as he runs uh, right up the bat of Joel Hilgenberg, the center. I think Reggie White gets uh, gets an assist there. I think these uh, Eagle defensive linemen are doing more than their load. Reggie White that time takes down a blocker, throws him into Hilliard, and knocks down Hilliard. Third and nine from the 25-yard line. As 4K comes up in the shotgun. Three receivers set out to the right, one to the left. And Hayward in the backfield to stay in the block. 265-pound 
Fullback White almost jumped, but is able to hold back, and then the pass is dropped, and it's Eric Martin again. And again, it was Martin making those two sensational catches, and he's followed that up with.